How many of you have typed how to get eggs in Century Age of Ashes into Google, seen this, and started grinding out levels only to be disappointed? If you raise your hand to say me, then you aren't alone. There used to be a time when leveling up and completing weekly quests to unlock weekly chests would give you dragon eggs, just like the Game Rant article said. But I'm sad to say that those days are gone. This changed in June of 2022, when they released the season system, and as you can see, this article is from December of 2021. Now, this video might seem like clickbait, but I assure you it's not. The reason I decided to make this video was because I see this question asked around a lot. I've gotten tenfolds of questions in the comments to my videos, and it surfaces every single day over in the Century Age of Ashes Discord server. I wish I had a better conclusion to this question, because this conclusion really sucks. I kind of feel like I'm making myself into the bearer of bad news with this video, but please, don't kill the messenger. These days, you can only get eggs through the shop. They'll appear every now and then, and like most things in the shop, all of them are bought with gems, while some can also be bought with coins. Their prices vary somewhere between 2000 and 800 gems, depending on their rarity. Legendary dragons will of course be the more expensive ones. Not all of them can be bought for coins though, but those who do usually come at the price of 6000 coins for every 400 gems meaning a 1200 gem dragon will cost 18,000 gems. I've never seen them deviate from this ratio before. Dragon eggs are a really cool feature to Century Age of Ashes, and it's a real shame that this feature is locked behind a paywall, if you look away from the three free eggs you get at the start of the game. In reality, I think they only gave us these eggs to push us to try out all of the original classes, seeing as there's one for each class. To me though, seeing the eggs with the dragons in the shop kind of takes away the thrill as well. You're basically just picking a dragon you like, and then you have to go through some quests before you get to use it. I remember being really excited about my starting eggs because I didn't know what they would look like when they hatched and grew up. With the shop eggs, you already know before even buying it. They've done this for a very good reason, of course, as it would cause a bit of an outrage if you bought a legendary dragon egg for 1800 gems, only to get Trogdor, when you were expecting something like Smaug. People would only be googling to see what they looked like instead, to make sure they don't waste their money. I do have hopes that we'll see more ways to get eggs in the future. I just realized after writing that sentence that I've said the word hope in relation to Century Age of Ashes so many times. But again, I hope we'll see eggs as rewards in future events and the like. People perfectly understand locking skins behind a paywall, but such a cool mechanic as hatching dragon eggs in a dragon game is something people want to engage with within the game without paying $15 for it every time. Since you now learned about the eggs in Century Age of Ashes, why not learn about the free classes from this video right here? And don't forget to subscribe before you go. See you in the next one.